So today I'm going with alliteration in Beowulf. If I wasn't so um, jet lagged, I'd probably try to do all of this in alliteration, but I just got home from Scotland and it's not happening. So Okay, so um, that was um, a very sped up um, uh, Old English reading. Number one, because that helped to disguise the fact that I really don't know how to pronounce most of those words. Um, but also because with that, you can hear the, the S's, the quick, you know, the um, sun with sand, secus whatever and that's where that's the problem so uh, all those all the things I didn't really know how to pronounce got kind of eaten up in that but you could hear the the s's the um that first line um 204 the what on hegrophana hail segwayden you know you, you hear those the g's of goda geta um there's a cat tail in this one too we're never going to do this without cats um but I did it so you could hear that the um those sounds just kind of going um, and then I read it again um, at a normal pace thankfully in a modern translation um, that alliteration is strong in the old um, English but it disappears in the translations because it probably is just a little bit too hard to fit that in and keep the storyline um, as they were trying to tell this great epic to reach the modern masses um, the alliteration makes it a lot more fun to listen to, and I can imagine that as that storyteller recited it for their audience, it was more fun to kick up the drama and, you know, really just, you know, I don't know, um, jet lagged. Um, so I spread, I, that's why I sped my reading up when I edited it, though, was so that you could hear those alliterations a little bit better, because honestly, um, I don't know who's going to understand those words anyway. If you do, oh my gosh, you are... Amazing, amazing, I'm not worthy. Um, I chose this particular passage because um, while I was traveling, it, it talked about Beowulf also traveling, getting away, whatever. And so I um, was like, I'm gonna read this while I'm on Loch Lomond. Yeah, this is gonna be great. So that's why I chose to do that because it actually mentions that he's on water. And then, um, and then I figured that for the modern translation, for um, I, I did it at the Glasgow airport because I thought that would be good because it's you know a more modern way of getting out of there. So anyway, that's that. Fabulous. Sorry, it's a little bit late. Jet lagged. What are you gonna do? Couldn't do anything. Not a lot of Wi-Fi in the Highlands. Anyway, um, have a fabulous day.